I got it started. I got a little it started a little bit. Busy working. That's okay. I wait like a minute or two. Yeah. Yeah, they're popping in. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? You want to sit with me? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Kylie, Brianna, Ella. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. We're going to wait like one more minute. She's telling you guys what to do. You want to run the video to warm up? I mean, the. Can you hear me? You want to run music to warm up? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, go ahead and stand up. We're going to do the eight count track warm up so we can get warm. That way, if anybody else is going to jump in, they have time to jump in. All right, everybody, let's get this workout started. Running in place for 30 seconds. Here we go.
Grab some water and catch your breath. Good job, you guys. Get some water. Cool down. We'll do some stretching. All right, everybody, come on back. All right, you guys, go ahead and put your arms above your head. You're going to roll your wrists out. Roll them in one direction. Good, roll the other way. Good, hands in front. You're going to do three arm circles with one. Make sure we stop. Three arm circles on the other. And then three backwards on the same arm. And three backwards on the other. Very good. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back three times. Shoulders forward three times. Good. Go ahead and put your ear to your shoulder. And switch. And switch. And go only across the front. Good. Across to the other side one more time. Good. Go ahead and sit on your bottom. Go ahead and send a butterfly. Go ahead and grab your ankles, right? Don't pull your toes up, grab your ankles. Sit up chest nice and tall. Try to go forward as far as you can. Trying to get your belly button to be the first thing that touches your legs instead of rounding your back. So go as far as you can, down. Good, go back up. Sit up tall again. And go back down. Good, sit back up. We're gonna do that two more times. And down. And back up, last time, and down, and you're gonna hold. This time I want you to walk your hands out as far forward as you can reach. You're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Okay, go ahead and roll up, go ahead and push those feet out to a pipe. You're gonna put your hands by your knees or your thighs. Ten times you're gonna point and flex as hard as you can. Point and flex. Point and flex is one. So we're pointing, flexing ten times. So twenty total. Five. Good. Squeezing your toes together, you're gonna to roll your ankles together one direction three times when you're done. Then you're gonna roll three direct, three circles the other way. Very good, go ahead and lay on your back. Good, go ahead and lay flat on your back. You're gonna stretch up above your head as far as you can, like when you just wake up in the morning and I want you to point your toes as hard as you can, stretch. Now I want you to push your belly button down to the floor or to the mat that you're on and I want you to hold that position for 10 seconds. My toes are pointed, they're together, my arms are past my ears, and my belly button is pushing down towards my spine. Holding it for five more seconds. Five, four, um, three. That was depressing. Two. I went to figure out how much I needed to apply to people's accounts. And relax. Very good. Now you're going to go into a hollow hold, right? So you can put your hands either in front of you, you can put them by your sides, across your chest, behind your head. We're just going to hold a 10 second hollow hold. Important thing, right, is that my shoulders and my ankles are off the ground. Okay, go ahead and lay down. We're going to do 10 seconds. And hollow up and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good. Very good. All right. Go ahead and roll over to your stomachs. Go into a seal stretch. Try to keep your hands by your hips. Try to press those hips to the floor, keeping your heels and toes together. 
Very good. Go ahead and press into a cat stretch. Armpits to the ground, right, rear ends in the air. Hold that for 10 seconds. Very good. Go ahead and lay flat on your belly. Put your hands in a T. Just going to stretch our shoulders out just a little bit more. Go ahead and rock your body over to one side. You're trying to get your pinky fingers to touch while keeping your feet um, still ankles together. Man, I'm brought the people back. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead and go back to a T. Rock the other direction. And holding for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lay flat on your back. Roll over. But you're going to pick your feet up over your head, keeping them straight. You can use your hands if you need to, but I want your knees to be really straight first. Okay, go ahead and rock your toes over. If they can touch the ground, go and put those toes on the ground. If you can't touch the ground, then you're just keeping them straight wherever you can hold. Careful, Brianna. Good holding. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Good, Kai. Six, five, four, three, to go ahead and separate your knees. Bend your knees if you can put them to the side of your face. Good, hold that for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good, you guys. Go ahead and stand up. Stretch anything else out that you need to and then we're gonna just start with tumbling today and we're gonna end with our drills that we worked on last week. So if you want to stretch your wrists out a little bit more, ankles, if not, go ahead and stand up. We are going to get started with tumbling. All right, on your own in place. Oh, go ahead, finish, go ahead. All right, we are going to start with L stands. Pretty easy, so go ahead and stand up. Get into that nice deep lunge, right? We talked about this, nice long lunges. My pinky finger, my pinky toe should make a straight line. Everyone has three L stands without picking up that bottom leg. Go ahead. Good, Brianna, keep that head in. Good, Sierra, good lunge. Good, Ella, good pointed top toe. Good, right? Then we make sure that we go into that same lunge that we started in, right? We want to make sure that our feet are far away from each other, not close to each other. Here we go. Moving on to handstands. Your goal is that you can hold a five-second handstand, okay? You're all going to get three warm-up tries, and then we're going to do it together, and I'm going to see who can hold it the longest. So everyone has three handstands on their own, then we're going to do one all together. Right, think about squeezing my toes. My shoulders are all the way over my hands, right? It's a handstand. Everyone's got three warm up ones. We're gonna do that last fourth one all together. Try to hold as long as we can, squeeze our ankles, right? Squeeze your butt. Your head. That was pretty good, Brianna, but your head, tuck your head in. Yeah, a little better, much better. All right, everybody go to a lunge. We're gonna do this all together. Here we go. And one, two, three, go ahead, handstand. Holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, Ella, that was seven, almost seven seconds. That was good, you guys. All right, let's move on to forward rolls. Make sure, one, that we're not using our hands to stand up when we roll. Two, our knees are completely glued together. Even though this is a, this is a youth one, intermediate, or a beginner one skill, it's still really important that all of our lower level skills are, are excellent, okay? You're gonna do three forward rolls on your own. Make sure that your elbow, the inside of your elbows are glued to your temples. Kylie, that was a really good forward roll. Everyone's got three forward rolls. Good, Ella. Stretch those arms a little bit more. Good, Sierra. Good arms, Bree. Keep stretching. Dang. Very good. Good, we're gonna move on. We're gonna do um, two candlesticks before we move on to backward rolls. 
and me, and actually I lied, not the candlestick. I want you to do the backward roll drill. So you're gonna do the same motion as a candlestick, but instead of your feet going straight out into the air, I want your knees to stay tucked in, and then I want you to try to stand back up from there. So it's half of a backward roll. Just got but right now, one of the things that we really do is, respect. good Kylie, very good Kylie, that was perfect. Right now we tend to kick out in our backward roll and they really want us to figure out how do we stay tucked. Standing tuck, round off tuck, handspring tuck, punch front, all those things are really important that we stay in that super tuck position. Very good. Okay, now I want you to move on to backward roll. I don't want you to change anything from the drill other than flip your hands and just pop yourself over to your toes. Don't change anything. Kylie, that was perfect. Oh, Sierra, that was really good. You didn't kick your feet out. You went a little crooked, but you didn't kick your feet out. It was really good. First, you've never gotten a date to bring your account current. Mom. Oh. Regina, I can hear you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Good, you guys. Pretty easy. Just remember that right as when we get back to the gym, we start working our tucks again. If you kick out, you're going to stall out upside down. So make sure that we're always in that tight ball. All right, let's move on to cartwheels. To the easy stuff. We're going to start with the bad leg. Everyone's got three on the bad leg. Over exaggerate your pointed toes. Turn your second hand. Deep lunge, right? When I cartwheel, I should not pick up that front leg when I cartwheel. Both feet stay planted. Point your toes. Good, you guys. Do your last one, just three. Good, go ahead and switch to the good leg. You're gonna do two different things. You're gonna do three cartwheels, and then you're gonna do three cartwheels step together rebounds. So three regular cartwheels, and then three cartwheels step together rebounds. Good, squeeze that booty in the lunge. Good, Brianna, good point to toes. Good, Kai. That was good. Very good. A little bit faster right hand, Kylie, okay? So that way you're, when you add the back handspring, it's fast. And up. Oh, good girl. That was much better. Good, Ella. Good, Sierra. A little bit. Your, your hip is a little open, which is why you're going crooked. So when you're bringing that second foot down, squeeze your ankles, and it will should put you back on center. Very good, you guys. If When you're done with those, if you need a quick drink of water, grab a quick drink of water, and we're going to keep moving. We got about five more minutes of tumbling and then we're gonna just do five minutes of drills and then we will be all done. All right, you guys go ahead and hop up. Let's uh, go ahead and lay on your backs. I lied to you. Don't stand up. Lay on your backs. You have two push up to bridges. On your second bridge, you must put your right and left leg in the air for three seconds. And then on your third bridge, you're going to kick over. So one regular bridge, second bridge, right leg, left leg up for three. Last bridge, kick over. Go. Think about stretching, right? When I do a bridge, nothing moves. After I place my feet, place my hands, nothing moves afterwards. I don't adjust my hands. I don't adjust my feet. Good, Brianna. Nice straight legs, nice pointed toes. Good, Sierra. Good, make sure you're rocking your back out in between. And then your last bridge, go ahead and kick over. Good Ew. legs, Kai. Good, Ella. All right, go ahead and stand up. We are gonna start with forward tumbling. Just this warm up our back so that we're... Everyone has two handstand fall to bridges. If you can stand up, fantastic. If you cannot, at least make sure that you're falling to a bridge with feet together. Go ahead on your own, two handstand fall to bridges, and then we'll move on to front walkovers. Try to make sure that, right, it's handstand first. Then we bridge. Good, Sierra, that was good. 
Good, Ella. Good control. Good Brie. Ooh, girl, your shoulders are tight. We need to stretch those shoulders out, Brie. Good, going through that handstand. Oh, Kylie, good try. <laughs> All right, go ahead and move on to front walkovers. Three easy front walkovers, deep, deep lunge, and then transition back into that forward lunge, right? Bless you. Bless you. Good, Kylie. Very good lunge. Great lunge. Reach out far. Good, Sierra. Try not to adjust that back leg. Try to make it the front leg that moves. Good, everyone. Go ahead to their third one. Yes, much better. Way better, Sierra. That was awesome. Good, Ella. Good lunge. All right, let's move on to back walkovers. Same thing as last week, right? Three back walkovers. One from your foot on the ground, two from a lever, about uh, 45 degrees, and then I want a full L at your hip. If you cannot get to where your leg is directly straight out, then you're gonna do two from the 45 de degree angle, okay? Three back walkovers total. The goal is that you're going from bottom, lever and quarter, and then a full half lever. Think about your legs, right? Is your head out? Is my back bent? Stretch through a handstand when I'm upside down. Good, Ella. Very good. And if you can, work on landing feet together, okay? And then we talked a little bit about that last week. Stretch. Very good, Ella. Those were great. Good, good. Go ahead and finish that third one. Good, Kai. Great lever. Good job, you guys. Very good. All right, next thing that we are going to do is round off from a lunge, okay? If you don't have very much room, uh, or if you have more room, then I would like you to do power hurdle round offs. But if you don't have very much room, then round off from a lunge. Uh, two things when we're doing these, right? Number one, no double swinging. That means that my hands go straight back and straight up into a round off. So that way it's a single count. Second thing is when I rebound, all of my body has to come up at the same time. I can't go head and then arms, okay? Everyone's got three round offs, power hurdle or from a lunge, either one is okay. Think about distance, right? Our tumbling should be really long. I know some of you guys are indoors, so if you need to start off your mat, start off the mat, but length, 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 length is what we want. Big rebounds. Very good, you guys. All right, last two things before we move on to our drills. If you have room for back handsprings, here's what you have. You have three standing back handsprings and three back handspring step outs. Three standing back handsprings and three back handspring step outs. If you're not working, actually we should all be working on step outs. We should all be working on step outs. Um, you may rebound on all of these uh, handsprings. On the step outs, I don't want you to rebound. Good, Sierra. Good, Ella. Right, think about our back leg. As we're going into these step outs, make sure that my hip is not open. And you'll notice that if your toe is facing the wall and not the ceiling. Ella, that was much better. Good, Kai. Yeah, you're doing the arms, Kylie. Good job. Right? We talked about that last week. If you guys want to try the back handspring without swinging, that is going to be the challenge over the next couple of weeks. Wait, I've gotten really good at my back handspring step outs and I want to swing. Wait. Let me see. I watched it without the swing and it was good. Yeah, see? Much better. Good. You've been working on them. Good breed, it's getting better. Split sooner, slow it down a little bit. Much better, way better. When you slow it down a little bit, you have more control. Sometimes when you go too fast, the bottom leg kicks out. All right, we are gonna wrap up with our conditioning. It's just gonna be um, three things, I think, 
was what it was. Um, so everybody go ahead and go on your knees, on your mat, wherever you are. Okay, we only got a couple more minutes left. We're gonna do the really, really hard one. You're doing this five times, right? So we're on our knees. We're thinking standing tuck, jump, and trying to get to our feet five times. And I challenge you that you do it with your feet together. Yes, Brianna. Good, Sierra. You guys, these are already better than last week. Good, Ella. Swing up. Good, Kai. Go ahead and do your five. Just get to five. Good, Bree. See, you got it down. Remember the first time you did it, you felt, kept falling over. Good, Sierra. Think about your arms, right? That's how important it is in standing tucks. It's all how much can you lift your body into the air. Very good, go ahead and finish up. Should be on your last one, your last two. Very good, all right, moving on from there. Next one, you are going to do five tuck-ins regular. Um, so if you need socks or a shirt or a piece of paper or something, right? These are the regular ones where we're going forward. We pull our knees in at the same time. You do <coughs> five regular. Then you're gonna do them in reverse, right? These ones were the hard ones. Five reverse tuckets. So you have 10 total. Good, Bree. Trying to slide our feet, right? That's the important part. Squeezing our core, holding that push-up position or that reverse. Good, you guys. Okay, now I, challenge, I want everyone to try three times, going from the regular push-up, pushing your knees all the way through to the reverse. I want everyone to try three times. I think one of you got really close. I think it was Brianna got really close. Let's see if anybody worked on it this week. Good, Ella. I did. I worked on it. You did? Good. Let's see it. The hardest part is pushing your feet all the way through. Yes, you're a good job. <laughs> that was good. Good, Bree. That was so good. It's all arms, you guys. It's being able to hold, lift your hips up. Oh, Kai, that was really fast. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Let's see, one more time. Good, 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 good. This is good, you guys. We're going to do these when we get back to the gym. Push through. Good, Brianna. All right, last thing that we are gonna do is you are gonna lay on your back in a hollow hold and you are going to do scissor kicks with your feet for 30 seconds, okay? This is the last thing you're gonna do. So go ahead and lay on your back. And go ahead and set up the hollow body and go. 30 seconds, one, two, three, four, scissor your feet. Six, seven, eight. So I want your feet to go side to side over each other. There we go, Sierra. Good. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, almost done. 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7. You can do it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good job, you guys. All right, good workout. I know there was only four of us, but you guys did a really good job. Those drills, especially if you worked on it, are really, really helpful. Um, you know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, when we started doing from your knees to your feet, I think like three of you could do it right. Um, and now you guys are starting to do it with your feet together. So keep working on that drill. Eventually, our goal is that we can go from our knees to our feet and go right into a back handspring or right into a standing tuck. We will get there. So keep working on that drill so that drill gets easier for you guys. And then um, Brianna, you, good job working on that hollow body sliding through your feet. Keep working on that drill because we're gonna add more to it eventually, okay? Very, very good, you guys. If you are doing the dance class, that starts at 5.30. It, we are teaching an advanced dance today. Um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Otherwise, you guys are free to go and I will see almost all of you on Sunday. Bye, everybody. Bye.